Our playoff prognosis series continues today with the Clemson Tigers. Hey, everyone, I am Shay Pepler alongside our college football analyst, Doug Chapman. And, Doug, no more Taj Boyd under center. Cole Stout now steps in. What are your expectations with the senior signal caller now in place? Yeah, he's got big shoes to fill. No more Taj Boyd. Cole Stout, don't expect him to be Taj Boyd because he's not going to be that. No knock on Stout, but Taj Boyd was phenomenal. What Stout has to do is lean on the weapons that he has available around him. He lost a lot of firepower at the wide receiver position when he loses Martin. Davis Bryant and Sammy Watkins also lost 1,000 yard running back Rod McDowell. Offensive ch coordinator Chad Moore said that Stout knows what he's doing. He said he's watched a lot of Boyd work over the past three years and now he's ready for his time to get in there and take control. Don't try to do too much. Yeah. You're not going to be Taj Boyd. Just relax. He'll be fine. All right. Well, let's focus more on the defense now, Doug. Vic Beasley, the ACC sack leaders, he'll continue to cause problems. But is there another guy on this defense that could cause problems as well? Yeah. Linebacker Stephon Anthony. He was second on the team last year in tackles. Second on the team also in tackles for loss. Beasley will get a lot of attention. They move him around a lot. When you have that many sacks, offensive coordinators are going to find you. They're going to highlight you. So a guy like Anthony can come in and make plays, sits in the middle of that defense. They may have one of the better linebacking cores in all of ACC, but led by Anthony this year, they should be a very, very solid defense. Playoff prognosis time. The reason why we do this VOD. Confidence level between one and five. Five is the highest. Doug, where's it at for the Clemson Tigers? I've got to go with a two. That's Ooh, low. Two. Don't look for another 10 to 11 win season. Again, in Death Valley, if you're a Clemson fan, you open up with Georgia. That's not going to be an easy game. Then you look at the schedule. You go down. Louisville's there. They're going to be tough. They have to go to Florida State. Georgia Tech's a headache to play. And at the end of the year, you got South Carolina. I just don't see them getting 10 or 11 wins. I don't even see them getting to the ACC championship game with the talent they lost on offense. Ooh, all right, Doug Chapman, thanks so much for the insight. And as Doug mentioned, Clemson does face Georgia in the first game of the regular season. Be sure to check out the Bulldogs playoff prognosis right here on CampusInsiders.com.